One of the pillars of the Big 12, what Deion Sanders said about Kyle Whittingham. Just two years into coaching FBS football, Colorado coach Deion Sanders has turned the Buffaloes into a national name once again. Sanders, an NFL Hall of Famer, injected life into Colorado's struggling program and brought the spotlight to Boulder. He utilized the transfer portal heavily, basically remaking the whole roster upon his 2023 arrival, and then did it again in 2024, adding over 40 transfers. Now, led by quarterback Shador Sanders and two-way sensation Travis Hunter, a revamped offensive line and a much better defense than last year, Colorado is 7-2, 5-1 Big 12, and, if it wins out, will be in the Big 12 championship game. Everywhere he goes, Deion Sanders draws attention, and he's elevated Colorado football near the top of the national conversation. Sanders opened his weekly press conference by touting that all 12 of the Buffalo's regular season contests this year will be broadcast on either network TV or the main ESPN channel. Then, he moved on to talking about Utah coach Kyle Whittingham. I respect a head coach that we're getting ready to go up against so darn much. It's unbelievable, Sanders said. He is one of the pillars of the Big 12, of course he was like that with the Pac-12. He's a legend. He's a legend. He's a true legend. What he's done consistently at Utah is unbelievable. Sanders is 57 years old, but in terms of being a head coach, he's still a little bit green. He got his college head coaching start with FCS Jackson State, leading it to two SWAC conference championships and leaving the school with the best winning percentage by a coach in his three years there. At Colorado, it was a bit of a bumpy start, the Buffaloes went 4-8 to eight last season, but this year the Buffaloes are bowl eligible for the first time since 2016 and challenging for the Big 12 championship. I have not only respect but admiration for what he's accomplished and I would just wish my career could be a portion of what he's accomplished and all the young men that he's sent on to the NFL as well as a better situation for themselves with the tools that he's instilled in them, Sanders said. But my hat's off to that whole staff and what they've accomplished over decades. Even with Utah's five-game losing streak and latest injury news, quarterback Brandon Rose and tight end Brant Quiet are out for the year. Isaac Wilson will start at quarterback against Colorado. The Buffaloes are not taking the Utes lightly. Colorado is currently an 11.5-point favorite over the Utes. Despite the five-game losing streak and offensive ineffectiveness, Utah hasn't been blown out yet and has been in every game. Could that change against the Buffaloes? Sanders isn't counting on it. They haven't quit. They're still tough. They're still aggressive, they're still stout defensively. They can still do some things that force you into some looks.